The last topic that I want to talk about before we end this episode of the JT Sports Podcast, Florida, not a, not too long ago, just announced that they were going to be firing Dan Mullen. He has went 34 and 15 in the four seasons that he has been the head coach of the Florida Gators football program. Florida recently lost to Missouri this past weekend, 24 to 23. They moved to five and six on the year. They have lost four straight games to power five opponents. And what's crazy is that I was watching the game with my homeboy. And after Missouri scored and they got the two point conversion, I told him, I said, how much you want to bet that Dan Mullen's going to get fired? And I told him the time frame. I said, he's probably going to get fired around one o'clock is when the news is going to come out. And a couple hours later, Dan Mullen ended up getting fired, and my homeboy hit me up. He was like, dang, JT, you called. I was like, yeah, man. And it's like, it's not like this came as a surprise. Like, the writing was pretty much on the wall after what happened against Georgia. Then you lost to South Carolina. Not just lost to South Carolina. You got embarrassed by South Carolina. So, I pretty much saw the writing on the wall. All Florida was really looking for was just that one knockout just like Florida was already on the ropes they were just looking for somebody to finish them off so they could just go ahead and part ways with them and that's what happened man and Dan Mullen isn't a bad coach you know like he's done some pretty good things at Florida since his time here well in Gainesville 10-3 and in 2018 11-2 and in 2019 went to the SEC championship game last year gave Alabama one of their most competitive games of the whole entire season but the thing with Dan Mullen is that Dan Mullen is a great X's and O's coach. He should probably be um in the NFL coaching somewhere versus college football because the thing with Dan Mullen is that he talks about how good of an X's and O's coach he is. He is a really good strategist. He is a really good game day coach. He is going to have you guys ready to play most times. But the thing that Dan Mullen lacked was, you know... The willingness to recruit. Okay, like, college football is different than the NFL. And I was having this argument with my homeboy um, a couple of days ago because he was a Florida fan. And he was saying Dan Mullen needs more time. He was saying that, you know, with Dan Mullen, he's a great X's and those coach. He's a great strategist and he can win with whatever. And, yeah, if you have a great um offensive minded coach or a great defensive minded coach then yeah they can strategize their way to win eight games maybe nine games but if you're ever going to be able to win a national championship you got to be able to recruit and Dan Mullen quite frankly in my opinion I just don't think he's that coach who can be able to take a program to that national championship kind of level because he's not all that great of a recruiter in college football the lifeblood of the resp- of the sport is recruiting. So when people come on and they tell me that Dan Mullen needs more time and stuff like that, like I gotta kind of tell, I gotta kind of give them the nod. No, I gotta kind of tell them. I gotta be like, listen, man, like Dan Mullen's a great strategist. Nobody's denying that he's a great quarterback guru. Okay, I think he's probably the second best offensive mind in the sport right now, behind what Lincoln Riley. Or probably third behind Lane Kiffin. However you want to rank him. He's still one of the best offensive-minded coaches that we have in college football. He's definitely going to get hired by somebody. But at a program like Florida, you got to be able to recruit. Same thing with Miami. Same thing with FSU. You can't, you cannot take a job in Florida at one of the three major schools, rather that be Florida State, Florida, and Miami, and just say, oh, I'm a win because I'm a good X's and O's guy. I'm a win because I'm a good technician. No, you got to be able to recruit, man. Because recruit, it's crazy how Every time we talk about the college football playoffs, the same teams that are always in the conversation are always the teams that bring in great recruiting classes. Alabama, Georgia, Clemson, Ohio State, they always bring in top-notch recruiting classes. And when you're in Florida, there's really no excuses for why you struggle to recruit because pretty much everything is there and on top of that you're Dan Mullen you missed a really big opportunity to really dominate Florida in the state of recruiting Florida State 
down. Miami, down. Like, the whole entire state of Florida has been down this year. And not just this year, but over the last couple of years. Like, ever since Dan Mullen took over as a head coach for Florida in 2018, Miami, FSU have all been down. So, Dan Mullen missed a prime opportunity to fill up his roster with a lot of blue chip players in the state of Florida and make it one for the national championship. Like, you just can't say, oh, yeah, I'm going to wait three, four years, wait for guys to become upper class men make sure they have reached the peak of their development and we're going to make a run for a championship like no you got to be able to recruit and a lot of people kind of overlook that you know when it comes to Dan Mullen they just make the excuse and say he's a good exes and nose guy but you got to be able to recruit man there are a lot of Florida fans a couple of weeks ago who were saying that Dan Mullen is a better exes and nose coach than Kirby Smart and that may be true but at the end of the day look who's having the last laugh Kirby Smart and Kirby Smart even kind of talked about this a couple of weeks ago in his press conference he said listen man we got to be able to recruit recruiting is part of the sport if you can't recruit you're not going to be able to compete it just is what it is so for Dan Mullen I like Dan Mullen a lot I like the energy that he brings he's kind of weird he's kind of quirky kind of like a Lane Kiffin Mike Leach mixture of both you know but I just feel like with Dan Mullen man like I don't feel like Florida made a mistake getting rid of Dan Mullen and there were a lot of people when Florida made the decision to get rid of Dan Mullen who said this was a mistake it's not because Florida realized that they peaked under Dan Mullen. They probably could have brought Dan Mullen back next year, and he probably would have won 9, 10 games probably. But Florida's expectation is not winning 9, 10 games. Florida wants to compete for championships year in and year out. And that's something that Florida was never going to be able to accomplish under Dan Mullen because he wasn't that great at recruiting and he didn't really care that much about recruiting. It's okay to be a head coach who doesn't care about recruiting, but you got to bring in a good recruiting staff that can do it for you. And Dan Mullen didn't do a good job at that neither. So, I mean, when I look at Dan Mullen, I think he is a pretty solid coach. But I just think he's more of a coach who should be coaching in the NFL versus coaching in college football. Or coaching at a lower level conference. Because you can't coach in the SEC and expect to have long-term success by bringing in recruiting classes that are, you know, in the top 25, around the 15 range. Like, Florida should be recruiting at a top 5, top 10 level. Like, it's really no excuses. I mean, you're in Florida, and the whole state of Florida has been down for years. So, Dan Mullen missed a big opportunity. So, I'm interested in seeing what kind of coach are they going to bring in now. Are they going to bring in an offensive minded coach? Or are they going to bring in a defensive minded coach? Are they going to bring in a coach who doesn't really specialize in either offense or defense? Are they just going to bring in a guy who's good at managing everything, who's good at being a good CEO, somebody who's good at bringing in a good staff, is able to recruit at a pretty high level? Like, I really think that the defensive coordinator for Notre Dame, Marcus Freeman, would be a really good hire if they're not able to get some of the best big name candidates that are out there like a Dave Aranda or Luke Fickle. I really think that Marcus Freeman, the DC for Notre Dame would be a good hire because everywhere he's went, Cincinnati had a lot of success, not only on the defense side of the football, but also on the recruiting trail. We're seeing that with Notre Dame. Notre Dame is putting together one of their best recruiting classes in a pretty long time with Marcus Freeman being there. So I really think that Marcus Freeman, if you can't get some of the big name coaches out there, or if you can't get a Billy Napier, I think that Marcus Freeman would be a really good pickup you know he may not have a lot of coaching experience but he is a really good recruiter and if he can get the right staff in there Florida could make a lot of noise and it's not going to take a lot of years to turn around Florida you know it may take about two because I don't think that this is a job that you can just come in right away and just start winning like you know Dan Mullen has kind of under recruited so this team is lacking talent at a lot of significant areas also you got to look about the guys who they're going to lose to the end NFL draft coming up so this definitely is a job that probably will take about two years two three years to turn around but if you can go in and actually do your what you're supposed to and actually recruit the state of Florida this Florida Gators job is a job that can easily turn into a job that can end up having you eating good for the rest of your life in the area when you can't compete for national championships year in and year out because you look at FSU FSU is still down Miami has been down since oh two since I came out the wound so for Dan Mullen man like I think he's a solid coach but he's not really the coach who should be coaching at a 
big elite power five program. I think he's more built for Mississippi State, a school that isn't expecting you to compete for championships year in and year out. A school that's okay with winning six games, you know, winning eight games maximum from time to time and things like that. Because you got to go to a conference in a school where recruiting isn't really as big of a priority like it is in the SEC. Now, recruiting still is a big priority anywhere you go. You got to be able to recruit at a high level if you want to be able to sustain a consistent amount of success. But just that certain schools and certain conferences that you can go to, you can have a little bit less success on the recruiting trail and still be pretty successful versus being in the SEC at a school like Florida, especially when you're going to be playing Georgia every single year. So I don't think that Florida getting rid of Dan Mullen was a mistake, but you guys let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section down below. And yeah, there are some people who are saying that, you know, some Florida fans have overly over realistic expectations. I don't really think that's true. Like you're the Florida Gators. You get what I'm saying? You're in the state of Florida with Miami and FSU both being down and, you know, Miami having some questions when it comes to who's going to be their head coach of the future. You get what I'm saying? Same thing with FSU. Even though you got Mike Norvell, they've done some really good things, man. At the end of the day, both those two programs are down. So you would think that Florida would have more success recruiting. But, you know, I don't really think the expectations in Florida are too high. Like, the expectations in Florida are what they should be. You're in a recruiting hotbed. You're the University of Florida. And Florida can actually go in and pay some good money to get a big-time head coach, a good staff, and a head coach that can actually recruit right. It's not going to take that long for Florida to be back in a national championship conversation. You just can't be at a school like Florida and just not want to recruit. So, you guys let me know what you guys think about the Dan Mullen firing. Who do you guys think Florida would bring in to replace Dan Mullen?